uh, hi guys welcome back to this piece for the past couple of weeks i've been putting out um some videos some tutorials on um waek past questions under various topics so uh, in this video we're going to be solving some questions under menstruation so this topic is all about length perimeters area volumes of um shapes okay so um we have a few questions to tackle here so let's get straight into it um, question number one says the length of the parallel sides of a trapezium are 9 cm and 12 cm. If the area of the trapezium is 105 cm square, find the perpendicular distance between the parallel lines. So I'll say let's start by sketching out a, um, a trapezium and label it with the parameters that we are given. So two parallel um, lines, right, up and top and the bottom. And then it's one side is usually a triangle so if the top um is nine centimeter and the bottom is 12 centimeter and the area of this is 105 centimeter square find the perpendicular distance between the parallel lines so basically we're asked to find the height of the trapezium um what is the area for finding what is the formula for finding the area of a trapezium that is one over two open brackets a plus b multiplied by h okay and now we are told that the area of this particular one is equal to 105 um, centimeters square so we can just equate the parameters that we have and solve for h so 1 over 2 a plus b refers to these two sides so that's 9 plus 12 multiplied by height is equal to 105 um 9 plus 12 or if we cross, cross multiply here 2 multiply everything here and 9 plus 12 will multiply h 9 plus 12 is 21 so i have 21 h is equal to 105 times 2 is 210 so that means that h is equal to 210 divided by 21 that's if you divide both sides by 21 so that means that your height is equal to 21 centimeter sorry 10 centimeter 210 divided by 21 your height is equal to 10 centimeters which is option C. Question number two says, find the volume of a cone of radius 3.5 cm and vertical height 12 cm. This is find the volume of a cone. Okay. So um, like I did earlier, let's start by sketching out our cone. This is what a cone looks like, right? It's like one third of a cylinder. A circle at the bottom a triangle at the top the base radius that is the radius of the circular base is 3.5 centimeters and the height of the cone itself is 12 centimeters but those take pi as 22 over 7. so the formula for finding the volume of a cone is equal to 1 over 3 pi r square h okay so let's insert our values 1 over 3 multiplied by pi which is 22 over 7 multiplied by r square that's 3.5 times 3.5 right multiplied by your height of 12 centimeter now let's change this um 3.5 3.5 into fractions because now they are decimals right so we have 1 over 3 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 7 over 2 multiplied by 7 over 2 right multiplied by 12 over 1 so now let's start cancelling um the things that are common right so i know that 2 here 1 2 here 6 i know that 6 here 1 i'm sorry 3 here 1 3 here 2 and then these two can cancel out i know that 7 here 1 7 here 1 so we are left with 22 and 7 every other thing is 1 every other thing is 1 at the bottom so this is 22 multiplied by 7 which is equal to 154 centimeter cube and that's option d our third question here says a cylindrical pipe 50 meter long with radius 7 meter has one open end what is the total surface area of the pipe now this is a tricky question okay but we just need to deal with it um carefully so let's start by sketching out our pipe so we have a cylindrical pipe I told that it is 50 meters long i know my drawing is ugly so just, just manage it so 50 meters long and radius of seven meters 
and we're told that it is open that what this means is that um one side of the um the cylinder is closed and the other side is open so it's like you can see and this affects the um your formula in a way so it says what is the total surface area of the pipe normally to find the um total surface area of a cylinder is the formula is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square okay and this 2 pi r square represents the area of the circles okay so you have two circles one circle on the top one circle at the bottom but now that we are told that one place is open it means that we won't have two of the area of our circle right we'll have just one so your formula for this particular cylinder becomes area is equals to 2 pi r h plus pi r square okay and another thing i noticed is here is that your formula is given to you in pi Right, there's pi by this side, so that means that they didn't solve out um pi, they didn't write pi as 22 over 7. So we can bring out pi and say pi is common to these two, and we'll have 2rh plus r square. Now we can substitute in our values and find the area. So your area is equals to pi open bracket 2 times the radius, which is 7, multiplied by the height, which is 50, plus um the radius, which is 7, multiplied by 7, close bracket. So we have pi open bracket um two times let's do two times fifty is hundred hundred times seven that's seven hundred plus seven times seven is forty nine so you have pi multiplied by seven times seven hundred times forty nine which is seven hundred and forty nine pi and your unit is meter so the unit here will be meter cube um and that leaves us with option A. So question number four says find the length of a side of a rhombus whose diagonals are six centimeter and eight centimeter okay so this is what a rhombus um looks like right almost like a kite just they have um different um some different um characteristics now the um diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular to each other are they not so that means that one of the sides would be like the hypotenuse of a triangle if these two are perpendicular to each other that means that these are right angles are they not so that means that the side that we asked to find becomes um one the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle which means that we can easily use the pythagoras theorem to solve for the side of the rhombus so we are told that the diagonal sides are six centimeter and eight centimeter so i'm going to assume that this is six centimeter so that means that here to here which is half of that um, diagonal is three centimeter right and if this whole thing is 8 cm, that means here too is what? 4 cm because it's just half of it. So here would also be 4 cm and here would also be 3 cm. So if you pick just one of these um, right angle triangles out, 3 cm here, 4 cm here, and then let's call this um, side A. Okay, and we just use our hypotenuse, um, sorry, Pythagoras theorem to find our value of A. And that tells us that A square is equal to b square plus c square and what this means is that um hypotenuse square is called opposite square plus adjacent square is it not so a square is equals to three square plus four square three square is nine four square is 16 so that means that a square is equals to 25 and if you take the square root of both sides of the equation you have that a is equals to five five centimeter which is option b our next question says what is the ratio of the length of two similar rectangle blocks rectangular blocks so it says the ratio rather the ratio of the length of two similar rectangular blocks is 2 ratio 3 right 2 ratio 3 if the volume of the larger block that means the one that has 3 right is 351 centimeter square then the volume of the other block is what centimeter cube rather 351 centimeter cube okay so this is more about ratio and proportion so you need to put on your ratio and proportion boots here um it's not really about volume because i don't think you'll be using the volume for the formula finding the volume of a, a rectangular block here all you need is uh, to understand how to solve for these values now if um the ratio for the larger value which is 3, 351 centimeter cube you have to find the ratio for the smaller one right the smaller block now but before you can do that you have to first of all find the total um volume for the two of them so that you can now use that total volume to find the value for your smaller block so first of all let's write out the formula for the larger block which has already been found so if you add the values of your ratio together you have five right so that means that the smaller um the larger block is three over five multiplied by the total volume i'll call it t subscript v is equal to 
351 centimeter cube so now let's solve for the total volume so we have this is um if we cross multiply this will become 3t is equals to 5 multiplied by 351 um centimeter cube so t is equals to 5 multiplied by 351 divided by 3 and if you punch this into your calculator you find that your total volume is 385 centimeter cube it's 585 centimeter cube rather okay so now that we have our total volume let's find our value for the smaller block the value for the smaller block is simply 2 over 5 your total ratio multiplied by the total volume which is 585 so 585 i'm sorry 5 in 585 is 117 so you're left with 2 multiplied by 117 which is equal to 234 centimeter cube a option a says 234.00 which is our answer so um our last question here says that a rectangular pyramid has an area of 24 centimeter square and a height of 7.5 centimeter find the volume now a rectangular pyramid that means that the base of the um, pyramid is a rectangle right so i'm just going to um draw a quick sketch of that and then there's a triangle at the top right so this is what you have for rectangular pyramid it has an area okay so that means that the surface area here the bottom of um the um, of the pyramid has a rectangular base the area of that one is 24 centimeter square now i told to find the volume sorry i told that the height is 7.5 centimeter find the volume the, vo the formula for finding the volume of a pyramid is base area times height so <laughs> we are just asked to multiply these two values um to find our answer so what, what the volume is equal to 24 multiplied by 7.5 um <clears throat> So this is same as 24 multiplied by 15 over 2, is it not? So if 2 goes here 1, 2 here 12, we are left with volume is equal to 12 multiplied by 15, which is, um, sorry, this is supposed to be 1 over 3 multiplied by the base area times height because it's a pyramid, right? So if this were like a, a rectangle or a... Um, a cuboid it will just be base area times height but because it's a pyramid it becomes one over three base area times height so this is actually one over three multiplied by 12 times 15 12 times 15 is um or let's say three year one three year five so we are left with 12 times five so our volume is 12 times five which is 60 centimeter cube which is option d